guys what is up welcome back to my channel welcome to the first uh video on my filming couch if you guys watch the vlogs you know excited to sit down I'm all cozied up in a blanket today and show you guys what is on my new iPhone 13 Pro I actually did a what's my iPhone video not too long ago back when I had the iPhone XR but I finally upgraded to the iPhone 13 Pro this past week and with that I decided it was time for a fresh start with my apps and be a bit more conscious and minimal and declutter my phone so I'm super excited to show you guys all the apps that I have. I feel like I have some that maybe not everyone has and so I'm just obsessed with watching these videos because I find so many great app recommendations and I just cannot wait to show you guys my phone. I asked you guys over on Instagram if you guys wanted this like a vlog style, take you guys through my day, through my apps and it was split 50-50 so I decided to just sit down because if you guys are new you may not want to see my whole day you might just want me to get to the nitty-gritty of what's on my phone so if you guys really want a another one of these vlog style let me know i think it would be so fun to film like a how i use my iphone 13 pro in a day to be productive that's what you're doing and let me know down below if that's something you guys would want to see so i'm super excited i just can't wait so a little bit about the phone before we get in I have the iPhone 13 Pro in the graphite color. I thought it was space gray and I was wrong when I unboxed it. And I have the 128 gigabyte. And my case on it right now is actually from Casetify. And perfect timing because Casetify is actually sponsoring today's video. I love working with them. You guys know I've worked with them a few times before. I literally love them so, so much. They honestly could not imagine having another phone case on my phone besides Casetify. Casefire is working towards eliminating single-use plastic without compromising the quality of their amazing cases that we know and love. They launched their Crush case line, which comprises of the Impact Crush case and the Ultra Impact Crush case, which are made from 65% recycled and plant-based materials. Their cases are also shipped in 100% recyclable shipping materials, which we love. And they're able to reduce their carbon footprint by 20% by processing the crushed cases less. You guys will see they have this super unique speckle design, which I absolutely love. And don't you guys worry, they still have the Chi Tech lining, which helps protect your phone for up to 9.8 feet of drop protection. It has the antimicrobial coating, which kills up to 99% of bacteria, 100% BPA free, non-hazardous, and 100% non-toxic. Watching this, you've probably upgraded your phone either with this launch or the previous launch and I'm so excited to talk to you guys about the re Casetify program which is so exciting obviously if you've upgraded your phone like me you probably have some old phone cases lying around and now Casetify will take those old phone cases from you and turn them into a new case which is so cool and such a great way to avoid phone case waste which I feel like is such a big thing that no one talks about instead of throwing your old phone cases away send them to Casetify and you'll get a special discount on your next purchase and the great thing is they accept all phone cases even if they aren't from case to five so anyways if you guys are looking for a new phone case from their crush line or anywhere else you guys know case to five has tons of tech accessories besides iphone cases i'll put my link right up here on the screen for you guys it's case to slash carter sullivan for 15 percent off your purchase thank you so much case to five for sponsoring today's video and let's jump into what's on my iphone the lighting might have shifted it's a little bit later i was waiting for a battery to charge so the lighting is eh, I apologize, it's just starting to get dark out. Green saber, it's Halloween and spooky. Uh, I've tried to refilm this like three times because it keeps getting stuck on my screen saver, so I'm gonna try and speed through this, but I like it because it's not super orange. Also, my phone is always on do not disturb. Am I alone in this? I hope not. I'm obsessed with do not disturb. Um, okay, this is my home screen. Like I said in the last one, I'm just like not into the whole app covers and stuff. This is about as aesthetic as I get, and I just like the clean white background with the clean white apps it just looks nice i just like it so in the top left corner i just have the reminders widget which i just did some cute reminders i saw this on pinterest on like an ipad screensaver and i was obsessed with it so it just makes me smile when i look at it because i remember to take a break drink water and cuddle my dog um then all the apps that are out and not in a folder are like my most frequently used so i'll go through all of those first so we have google calendar which is my life um i do use a physical planner too but google cal is great on the go because i have my life in here work both jobs 
filming, if Stella has any appointments, if Matt's doing anything, if I'm doing anything, like I have it all in here, due dates, you name it, everything is in here. So this is my holy grail and yeah, it's really great because if someone texts me and they're like, hey, are you busy on Friday? I could just be like, oh, I actually have to work. You know what I mean? So I love it so much. Then Instagram, which is my Instagram in case you guys want to follow me. I'm pretty into like the whole posting whatever I want feed. I just have like a moodier filter on for fall and I post a ton of my stories. So that's the best place to like catch up with me and hang out with me. I post on there all the time updating you guys. YouTube studio, which is pretty obvious. It's just where I go to like answer any comments or see how a video is doing. Um, I've been trying to not check it a lot, but it's really nice to have like on a walk because we have a hands-free leash. So I'll just answer comments on walks or if I'm walking to the office in the morning. Then I have Messenger, which is how um, Matt and I talk mostly because he has a Google phone and he doesn't always have service at work. So we just talk through Facebook Messenger. Then I have this cute little widget here, which Widget Smith is just a like third party app that you can use to get more widgets, which they have like different photo ones, time, um, like you name it, they have so many. So I just have this photo one with this cute little white photo. Um, this one is just a step counter. I don't know, I find I reach to see how many steps I've taken versus like closing my loops now. So I just like to have the little step tracker. Then photos, which is pretty obvious. I was taking photos for this thumbnail. Um, lots of wallpapers, <laughs> screenshots of magic bands I want, mugs. There's a Disney theme going on here. Cute dog. Um, that's pretty self-explanatory. Notes, I actually use notes all the time. I'm a huge notes person. I have like clips I need to get for videos, my books that I've read, uh, video ideas books to read um if you're a girl you definitely have a baby names list on your phone um and just like really really random stuff the perfect fall day like you name it i randomly have a list of every airport i've been in i have really random stuff so i use my notes a lot camera that's just like an obvious one hello dirty office and chrome i just prefer chrome to safari and then on the bottom i have like the usual phone messages you know my bestie Jenna, um, Spotify and FaceTime. Also FaceTime got like a facelift with the new iOS and I'm obsessed with it. Um, my Spotify, I will link it down below for you guys. Um, Suits, this is my favorite playlist of all time. I listen to this all day at work, it's so good. Have some fall playlists and then I just have a bunch of my own playlists. <laughs> POV, T-Swift Road Trip. These are like the all time fave Taylor Swift songs. Um, Give Me the Ox is a good one. I just have a bunch of fall playlists, stuff like that. So I'll link my Spotify down below for you guys. Um, okay, folders, socials, we have Pinterest, which is like an obvious one. I don't really post on Pinterest much. I mainly just use it to get inspiration. So I have like a bunch of wallpapers and I have a lot of stuff for the house that I wanna do and ideas we have. So that's what I mainly use Pinterest for. I don't like really upload anything. Then YouTube, which is obvious. I don't really watch a lot of YouTube on my phone, honestly, um, but I do like sometimes we'll scroll through it and then add stuff to my watch later, which if you guys don't, you need to use the watch later function, which basically allows you to save a bunch of videos and then they just play one after the other. So it's really great if you're having like a cozy day. TikTok, explanatory. Facebook, I actually use Facebook a lot. I think just like with coworkers, families and friends, I actually still use Facebook. Mail, obvious. LensBuddy is an app that, this is like not a cute photo, but um, LensBuddy is like the automated timer app that I use to take my Instagram pictures and you can set like um, the length, the burst and stuff like that. So you can get a bunch of photos, which is really awesome. So I love that. Lightroom. Um, I use Lightroom to edit all of my photos. I used to use Tezza, but I recently switched to the Bianca Henderson presets. Her presets are so nice and just like very neutral. I was never a preset person. Anyone else have the Aspen Ovard presets and they made them look washed out. Um, but I like this one because it's very minimal. So I'll show you guys like an example. So this is like before and then it just adds like a little moodiness to it. So I really love it. Same thing here. Like this is before, this is now. Really love it. I never really have to fix it. I just throw the preset on and go. Anchor, which is how I check like analytics on the podcast, which if you guys don't know, I have a financial podcast called Budget Babe Podcast. I just haven't, I haven't logged into a lot of apps actually since I got my new phone. Poshmark, obvious. 
um, and then I have retouch which is the app that I use to it's really awesome I've been looking for a good retouching app and it's the app I use to like get stuff out of the background and this one is so good I'm just trying to find a photo that like has something in it um, so you can literally just like go over here and it will like take it out it's it's an amazing app um, same thing here it'll like retouch that for you it's it's so cool it's 279 but it's literally worth every dollar I'm obsessed with it then finances, we have Starbucks, Tim Hortons, Wallet. Those are all self-explanatory. Um, RBC is the bank I use. Mogo is the app that I use for my credit score and my fraud alert. So it's set up for all my credit cards and my SIN, which is like my social security number in Canada. And so if anything um, happens or anyone accesses it, I get an automatic fraud report. So that's a great app. Shop, which is what I use to get notifications for shipping and so it's really great because you can put in all your tracking information and it'll link automatically to your bank account or to your bank account to your email and then it'll pull all the tracking information so that is awesome neo you guys know how much i love neo neo is a cashback credit card that i use i was literally looking for how much cashback we got at best buy and you can just search random things um and you get cash back i just cashed it all out but you get cash back for all your everyday purchases. So I really, really love it. I think I have a referral link still, so I'll link it down below for you guys. But you can look at what's near you and see what the cash back is like. It's a super awesome credit card. And then I have Mocha, which is just an automated savings app. So it pulls $25 a week um, from my bank account. And then it also does roundups for my credit card. Um, and it goes into a TFSA. That's how we saved for our trip. And then I just started a new one. Then in health, we just have like the standard health. Good life is the gym we go to. We don't need to book appointments anymore with COVID, but we had to before. So that's why I have that. Fitness, obviously just like my rings and I can see what everyone else is doing. Um, Medio is the app that I use to go see my family doctor and book appointments. So that's a really nice app. Flow is just like to not really care about that. But as I get older, I'm very into like my cycle. Apparently, if you guys are wondering, I'm ovulating right now. Um, and then Glorify is a really awesome, I don't know how to get out of this. Um, it's a really awesome like daily quote passage and devotional app. And I really like it because it's super quick. So for example, this was like today's quote and then today's passage. And it's really great. And it has like a little habit tracker, which I really like. So it's really, really great if you are trying to get, like, get back into your faith. Um, then in productive, I have a habit, which, oh, I'm not logged into it, I don't think. Okay, well, this is sad. I'm not logged into it, but I was. It's just a habit tracker. Focus is also a really great one. Um, focus is a... Focus is a great Pomodoro. Focus is a great Pomodoro app. So you can do like 25 minute timers. Um, I like to do this when I'm working. Sleep cycle calculates your sleep, which is pretty cool. Um, but it does it by your breathing patterns, which is great because I don't like wearing my Apple Watch to bed. Then flip clock is just a flip clock. You guys always ask me about this app. I like to have it on when I'm working. Um, Octa Verify and Forta Token are just like third party verification apps for work. Teams is an obvious one. Um, Nespresso, I just have the app so I can order Nespresso pods when we need to and I can see if they have any um, new pods. Filtru is a super fun app. Um, I recently discovered this and it basically gives you like the perfect way to prepare coffee. So for example, if you have a French press like me, um, you can change your grind sizes and then you can press start and it'll literally say like what you need and it'll like take you through it which is like so cool i really love this app and then on the last page it just had like the random apps useful i don't think there's anything in here widget smith we covered that wise is our doggy camera for stella when i'm at work nest is our front door like a google camera and also our thermostat um, OPL mobile is just the public library in Ottawa um, we can put books on hold I mean you guys know how a library works but it's really great that there's an app to do it 
um, Outlook obvious, WhatsApp obvious, and then in travel I have all trails, which is how Matt and I find new places to like take Stella on hikes and stuff. We love this app so much. Um, it has just like a bunch of great trails around Ottawa and you can like favorite them and check out new places. Disney World app, which is like pretty self-explanatory. It's how you can like see what the like wait times are in the park. Um, and you can like check on your trip, like your plans. You can make um, food reservations, all that kind of stuff. Pokemon Go, self-explanatory. Matt and I still play Pokemon Go. Hopper is a really great app for getting like discounted flights and hotels. Um and you can look at for example like we want to go to toronto um it'll pull up like deals so it's a really great app I, app which i can't show you my profile because it has my id and someone could pretend to be me but you know to book our flights or i use it to just check on our like um washed out dollars arrive can is the app we had to use to come back into the country from the u.s same thing with my tsa for tsa pre-check and stuff and yeah but that is everything that is on my phone. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below what is one app that you guys cannot live without. I'm so curious. Thank you so much again to Casetify for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to give this a big thumbs up if you guys did enjoy. It helps out my channel so much. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!